Welcome to another installment of whatever the sound she makes. Kai July, and we are talking about Rebirth of Mothra 2. Again, this one's not better than the first one. Uh, so remember I mentioned about the first one, how it was geared towards kids, men and little girls, and now there was a lot of, quite a bit of, uh, little kid stuff in it. Well, this one decided, hey, let's do it mostly little kid stuff. So that's what we got. We follow little kids, basically. But the main story is that there's a society, some ancient island in the water somewhere, which is not Atlantis, but it is Atlantis. We can't call it Atlantis because of copyright. And the two little moths twins come in and they say, oh, it, you know, tell these kids, for some reason, just some random kids, because they find this little fuzzball thing called Gorgo that can heal you by pissing on your leg. Well, wherever you got. Like the, the fat kid, I don't know their names. He gets like blasted by Belvira, right? And so he's got an owie on his knee, and he's holding the little fuzzball gorga thing, and it pisses on his knee, and it heals him. Yes. Belvira is trying to stop the kids from finding the ancient civilization. She wants the gorgo, so she hires basically Japanese book and skull to get them back, and of course they suck. There's an earthquake in a scene for some reason, which I'm pretty sure was only added in there because they needed to have the gag and them falling down. And, uh, yes. Oh, and Mothra is in this. Uh, sort of. Yeah, she's in this. Um, there's a monster called the Garla, who was a monster for the civilization. Okay. So Mothra Leo shows up to fight it, right? And meanwhile, the kids and the Japanese folk and skull, they find the ancient island just by swimming out to the middle of the ocean. I guess that's just all you have to do. And they find this ancient civilization to only then be told by the female Japanese Zordon type person that the Gorgo is the treasure because it can grant wishes. So the whole story with them going to find the temple castle thingy to get the treasure was just Waste of time? I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yes. And Mothra gets energized by the Gorgo and becomes, like, underwater Mothra and fights the creature underwater. But also, one of the Bulk and Skull dudes, the Bulk and, this is bad judgment on these kids. They, they like, the Bulk and Skull dudes, the Japanese Bulk and Skull dudes, they attack them and then they apologize and then, okay, and then they, I like, Jackasses, one of them gets blasted, and so they heal him by, you know, you know, they take the gargo, I'll use face, and they make it pee on the guy's head, and it heals him. If you peed on me, well, you're stuffed. If you peed on me, would it heal me? Uh uh. You just man like duck pee. That's what I thought. But, yes, and so, uh, Mothra, Leo, Aqua Edition, uh, defeats Degarla, and then Degarla gets smooshed on top of the castle, I guess, um, and then one of the kids gets a little pearl, which I'm assuming was, will be in the third one, I don't know, I don't have that one, but, uh, yeah, and the end there. This was just, and it it baffles me. The people say that the American Godzilla kaiju movies, they they focus too much on the humans, as if it's never been happened before. It's like watch some of the old the other kaiju movies. There's been a few that focus too much on the humans, and this is one of them. That's one of the problems. Like, yes, there's a lot of focus on the humans in the American kaiju films. But it's not like there wasn't any Japanese ones either. I'm just saying. But this one was... Eh. Nothing spectacular to me. Uh, but, uh... Yeah. So, there's that. Uh, so, next time... 
we'll be heading to America for our first American adaptation. Straight up American adaptation, not taking a Japanese film and adding American actors in. Or this is a full American adaptation of a kaiju film. It's a full Americanized movie. I'm not going to say which one it is, but you know what it is. But I'm not going to say what it is. It's very infamous. For a line that was made famous by the nostalgia critic. But I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm, 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 I'm not going to say it. I'm going to thank you for watching. I have been Scotty. And I'll see you in the next one. That's a lot of fish. <laughs>